Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at normalization of the wave function, sometimes spelt with a Z here. So we know from previous videos that the uh, modulus square of the wave function gives us the probability density at a point, uh, and integrated across all of space, we expect this to give us one, because although we're not sure where the particle is, uh, we know that it must exist somewhere. Mathematically, we can write this down in the following way which we saw previously, leads to the conservation of global probability. Uh, let's take a look uh, at a worked example, treating again the infinite uh, potential well from video 3.1, uh, where we'll use this to establish the uh, prefactor on the wave function. Okay, so we've previously seen uh, the infinite potential well uh, and just to re-sketch it here we have a potential that looks like this let's say this is x equals zero and this is x equals l uh, this is the potential um, and it's infinity in these two regions uh, and zero in in the middle here we've seen that the energy eigenstates take the form um, phi n of x equals um, b sine n pi x over l, which comes about from requiring that the wave function vanish at uh, the points where the potential goes to infinity. So the question is, what's this uh, coefficient here, this prefactor? Um, it wasn't determined by the boundary conditions, but actually we can always use the uh, normal uh, normalization, the fact that the uh, integral of the probability density across all of space equals 1 to solve for the, um, the prefactor at the front. So the condition we have is that 1 has to equal the integral of the probability density, which is given by phi n x modulus squared. We integrate from minus infinity to infinity, but the wave function is zero um, everywhere except for zero to L. So we can just integrate over zero to L. Um, and this is enough to solve for B up to a global phase. So uh, to do it, we need to use, uh, well, so let's substitute it in first. So we have the integral from zero to L of modulus B squared, because remember it can be complex in general. Um, sine squared n pi x over L. Now, uh, to do this integral, integral of sine squared, uh, and in general integrals um, uh, for problems to do with the infinite well, we're going to use uh, a couple of relations. So we can use um, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. And the other one that tends to be useful is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta equals cos 2 theta. So we have a sine squared, so we want to take this one minus this one and divide by 2. So we have that 1 equals, we can bring the b squared out of the integral, uh, and actually um, we're going to have a half as well. So we're just going to take this equation, the top one, uh, and subtract this equation, and then divide by 2 to get sine squared. So we're going to have 1 minus cos 2 theta. Uh, the first part, just so we have 1 equals modulus b squared over 2. Um, this one just gives us L. And then we have minus integral b squared over 2. Um, integrate this, and we have sine, sorry, I've put uh, theta here, um, so, sorry, 2 theta uh, is equal to 2n pi x over L. Um, so this is going to integrate to uh, sine 2 theta, which is sine of 2n pi x over L, and we'll need to divide by uh, 2 n pi multiplied by l uh, and sticking the limits through to l but we see that um, 
when we put uh, when we put the limit zero in there, that's zero uh, because sine of zero is zero. When we put the L in, we get two n pi and the L's cancel. But two n pi for integer n um, uh, sine of two n pi is always zero. So actually, this thing is always equal to zero. And so we've solved and found that modulus b squared is equal to 2 over l, or modulus b equals the square root of 2 over l. And therefore, we found our normalization, our normalized um, energy eigenstates for the infinite potential well are given by square root 2 over l sine n pi x over l. And now the probability to find um, any particle described by this wave function across all of space um, is, is equal to 1, which is what we like. Okay, so um, thank you for your time.